when I was a kid, I killed a, I killed a snake in the channel. <clears throat> after after killing, I I immediately felt something went into my my brain, and as, from then on, I feel my head. My, my, <clears throat> there is headache. There was headache in my in my head, and I also experienced a very serious insomnia. I cannot sleep. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, and the pain in my in my in my head become become more serious. Uh, when I, I was a university student, I, it was a <clears throat> series that I can't walk. I can't walk, I, I couldn't work, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't thinking, I couldn't study. Think about it, I, I, must, I, was, a, I was a student. Very, very weak. I... I was hopeless. There's a, there's a, I think I'm going to die. I'm going to be, I, 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 I was going to die very soon. But fortunately, at that time, it was, uh, I was uh, 17 years old, 17 years old. But now, I'm 47 years old. So uh, after practice the uh, uh, for uh, for eight or nine months, I feel I felt there was a there was a snake uh, <clears throat> got out from my head. The snake, like this, the snake was a uh, was a transparent, uh, <clears throat> like this, out of my out of my brain. Then the snake, <clears throat> my insomnia, my headache, and uh, everything went uh, <clears throat> went away. Uh, I was I had a car accident in 2004. Uh, it was not very serious, and I was sent to I was sent to a hospital. And they <coughs> they did uh, the, the doctor did uh, MRI. We call it a CT. I found there is the there is the snake there um, there is the <coughs> there is black or oh, no there is a white the, do, the doctor told me you got had you got had cancer before and he told uh, and he asked me why you get your cancer heal and I told him I I don't know I didn't know I didn't know I had cancer but I experienced very uh, severely headache. Uh, <clears throat> that's why I know I had cancer. But uh, I think if if I know if I knew I had cancer when I was a student, I was killed by the fear. Fortunately, I didn't know what the cancer is. So, <clears throat> so I, ha I had no fear. Uh, I had no fear. Then everything I can face, right? I can face to the illness. Then the illness. So, 
the power of uh, the power of your heel. No, the power of your man is very powerful. If you if if you have no if you has no fear or if you has fear. If you have no fear, there's not nothing can kill you. There's nothing can kill you. If you have if you have fear, then the fear will kill you. It is not your Yes, if you have any questions, let me know, but uh, uh, I hope you can tap it. Because uh, my native, my native uh, language is the Chinese, not English. Okay? <coughs> so, uh, so, we have to increase the power of our or of our man, when, 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 when can uh, when you can make your man powerful? <clears throat> so look at the I ha, um, I want you look at the blue sky, okay? No boy. Here, I mean, the, the blue sky, it is not the blue sky. It, I mean, the void. The void. Okay, look at the galaxy, look at the suns, stars, and the uh, cluster of stars, and the moon, human being, earth, everything, they come from the void, right? So, I tell you a truth. Whatever you have, it will be healed by the boy. If you <clears throat> so, uh, if you go to Buddhist uh, monastery, okay, they worship the worship the uh, sculpture of Buddha, right? But but it's stupid. I think it's stupid because they want to get the lucky luck for for uh, for mission and uh, <clears throat> blessing everything from a sculpture. It is not possible. It is not possible. <clears throat> But we can get anything what you want from the world. Okay. So here I want to tell you that if you have anything you want, you want to reach, you want wealth, you want health, uh, you want first nation, everything. Just ask the ask your requirement from the void with your respectation, with your respect. You can say, "Oh, yeah, uh, <coughs> void, give me money, give me, let me recover it, get recovered from, uh, get me recovered from illness." It is not possible. Everything comes from your respect. The, <clears throat> what is the respect? Make your man, make your man in the boy, like the boy. There's nothing, there's no monkey man in your... <clears throat> there's, uh, there's nothing, there's no monkey man in your, in your brain. That's the most uh, powerful energy will come up, it will come to you. So, <clears throat> here, I would like to tell, I would like to bring you to the void.
Sorry, I think some internet disconnection, maybe. Sorry, uh, <coughs> internet mistake. That's okay. Okay, here, I want you sit upright. Here, at, at first, I teach you how to sit. How to sit, okay? You can. Well, I think there are the many many teachers was introduced by Amir Larsher and Martin Larsher. So if we here, if you have, you, if you want to make your <coughs> uh, pre with your respect, or if you want you. Uh, practice qigong or if you want your house back anything we should know how to stand up how to standing how to stand how to sit how to sleep how to speak everything this is a very small skill but that's the base that's a base you can build up a building on the sand okay you have learned a lot of uh, <coughs> skills from other teachers, I think. But here, I would like to tell you, uh, show you how to sit at first. <coughs> okay, if you sit, you should make your make your spine like this. Okay, you should make your spine like this. You can sit. You can sit and make your spine like a bow. This is not correct. You should make your spine <coughs> like this, straight, straight, and there is curve. There is curve in your at your movement, okay? This is, a, this is a very important. If you sit like this, <coughs> if you sit like this for, for a long time, your spine and your spine will be curved and your and your and your inner organs will be squeezed together. Okay. And I tell you something: if you are, uh, if you are, if you have very special feeling on qigong, that means if you have a lot of qi, then you can feel your your inner your your chest is the uh, is emptiness, is empty. And also you can feel your brain, your, your brain, your head is, is uh, vast, it's very big, huge. Then is that in this situation, in this situation, you are in, you, you are merged with the universe. Universe, okay? We should <clears throat> like this. <laughs> Sit. No. This is my bag. This is my bag. Okay. <clears throat> if you really want to practice uh, kung fu, okay, you should make your spine, your movement forward, okay. Your movement is forward, and your your movement curve. Okay. Can you see that? You see that? Yes. Okay. This is not crap. This is crap. Okay. 
Uh, and uh, <clears throat> you better put your palm on your groins. Okay, put your palm on your groins. So, because uh, if you put your palm on your navel, that's very good. That's very good. But put your put your put your <coughs> palm on your groins. That means you your palm press on your reproductive system. The growing in Chinese traditional medicine, the basement, the base of qigong, the base of zhenong qigong, the screwing is part of your, a very important part of your <coughs> the productive system. Okay, when you speak to somebody else, if you put your palm on your groins and uh, and talk to somebody else, your body, your 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 your, your spine is straight, and uh, it's also kind of a respect respect. Okay, people will like this posture if you speak to some to anybody else. If you sit like this, it's very <coughs> sensory. It, it's sensory. Honest, and uh, you also express your respect to anybody else. And uh, it, the most important, if you put your palm on your guru, is you practice qigong at, at the moment, and you are massaging your reproductive system. And you know, <clears throat> if you are old, if you become older, then you it. It start from the. It it will start from your reproductive system. Okay, so. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, how to see. It. No, okay. the, the light is very bright. If you can please adjust the light. Yes. It's not shining in into the computer. And uh, <clears throat> your chest. Your chest also uh, relax your chest. Okay? Relax your chest. Curve forward your spine, stretch your spine, then your, your spine can be longer, can be longer. You know, all your inner organs hang up by your, by your spine, right? <clears throat> and all of your knees. If can also come from your immune system, okay? The, the biggest immune system is your liver and your growing and uh, your spine marrows. So if you sit upright, your immune system will be nourished and uh, Accumulated in Chinese med uh, traditional medicine, your back is uh, is the positive part. Positive part. Top positive part. Your <clears throat> your belly and your chest. This is top negative part. That's why if you sleep on a big stone, after, uh, after waking up, 
you are disabled because all of your positive qi will be absorbed by the stone. So keep your back warm. Keep your back warm. Don't get your back cold. Okay. <clears throat> also, there is a suggestion for young lady, for your daughter, for your kids. Never expose your navel to the to the <coughs> chill, to the cold air, cold. Okay, because you know your this is navel is the center of your body. Navel is the center of your body. We need to accumulate your dantian qi, your prenatal qi, in your navel. The navel also the center <coughs> of your inner organs, your livers, okay, your livers, uh, and is <coughs> um, spleen and your uh, bladder and your urine system and your kidney system. Okay, this is the center. So we 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 can't run out run out the energy of your navel. It store the financial energy you get from the universe before you burn, before you, before you born. Sorry for my pronunciation. <clears throat> so here, I'm going to teach you today, uh, I'm going to teach you Rou Fu. Okay. <clears throat> Why we need to rub our navel? Um, I think, <coughs> Eric, I think for the Hui Yin issues, all the Zhen Qigong, it is totally wrong. And also, I can tell you that the theory we got from Dr. Pang was wrong. I tell you here. So, it's totally wrong. Dr. Pang, why Dr. Pang give us, we need to lift your Hui Yin, because he, he practiced Qigong when he was a young, young man, young, he, he was a boy, okay? Not like us, we practice Qigong very old or adapt. It's different. You just, we, we sit here, we, we don't need to lift our Hui Ying. If you lift your Hui Ying, then you will have very severely constipation. Okay, it will give rise to severely constipation. Okay? Just relax. Okay, just relax. That's enough. We don't need to do anything about our Hui Ying. And, <laughs> and what is Hui Ying? Hui Ying is your prostate. Prostate. Okay, it is not the skin. So, <clears throat> I give you the top secret of Qigong here. There is no, I have to, uh, I feel sorry that even, even for me, I, I, have, I, have, I have been to the class for two, two and a half years. I didn't tell, you, tell anybody else, but here, I give you the secret of Qigong. 
but uh, <coughs> but uh, I'm not going to tell you how to close your Hui okay if you anybody anybody if you have this secret how to close your Hui you don't need to practice any Qigong you don't need to practice any Qigong your energy will store in your body and I never leak and never leak okay <clears throat> But if I give you the, the, and this secret, I cannot tell anybody. Because if I give you, I don't know your morality. I don't know your morality. If you have, if you don't never leak your energy, your chi will strong, 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 but you have very bad temper. You, if you are very greedy, you are easy to lose your temper. This secret will kill you very soon. Very, very soon. So I can't tell anybody. Um, unless we stay together for many years and, uh, and you have passed my examination, something like that. Okay? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Why I tell you Rou Fu? Because I want you to make your prenatal chi strong and strong. Okay? How we can, you, you must uh, want to know why Rou Fu can make your inner chi, your prenatal chi, more and more. Because <clears throat> Your palm, your palm is the universe. Your palm is the universe. If you put your palm on your navel, then, then this is the, uh, then if you put your palm on your navel, then you put the universe in your navel. Okay, you put your, you put your uh, palm on your, you put the universe in your navel. Okay, and how can we, how do we pronounce, how do we, do we practice Rufu? Okay, put your palm, let me do it now. You can do it at, at any time. When you <coughs> take bus, take train, uh, watch TV, and uh, talk to people, talk to friends, you just uh, put your palm on your navel and do something like this. That's enough. This is rule. So we can practice Qigong at any time, any, any place. Okay? Let's put your palm on your navel and you can do something like this. You can do something like this. Okay. It doesn't matter. <coughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, in some book, of Qigong, they say anti-clock, anti-clockwise. And some books say clockwise. But uh, from my opinion, doesn't matter, never matter. All of them are good. All of them are good. There's no errors. There's no mistake if you do it often. You don't, you don't worry about, you may, you may <coughs> make mistakes. And some, some other Qigong, if you practice Chen Zhuang, uh, level two, level one, you may make mistake, okay? But for Zhou Fu, <coughs> you, don't, you don't have to worry about 
any mistake you you may make. Okay. Just to put for now. Put your palm on your navel, please. We can do row four like this. Put your palm on your navel, and because uh, and you better put your palm on your navel directly, not above your clothes. Not above your clothes. Okay. Just uh, rub your navel directly. This is row four. Yes, Amy. Directly. You can do it at any time. <clears throat> but uh, <clears throat> but uh, if you can practice uh, concentrating, if you practice uh, roof with concentration, that's the best. That's the best. It will uh, it will accumulate your inner inner chi, your prenatal chi, very soon. But if you practice rofu without concentration, it's okay. It's okay. But it is uh, not. Uh, it is not better than practice rofu with concentration. Okay. So when you if you if we do rofu on your skin, not like this, not like this, okay? Not like this. Just like this. Put your palm, attach on your <coughs> attach on your skin like this and not like this. Not like this. This is uh, this is another method we are not, I'm not going to introduce here. Okay, this is good. But this is will work on your dantian directly. This will work on your dantian directly. <clears throat> so now let's practice few, uh, <clears throat> uh, a few minutes. Okay, now put your palm on your navel here. Okay, and turn on left. Turn on left. Just do it now, just do it now. You may find when I do Zofu, <clears throat> my entire body is moving. You don't have to copy my movement. When I do Zhou my Qi, my energy, I can <coughs> call, uh, I can command all of my body. But for you, if you are a beginner, you can't, you don't have energy, you don't have um, abundant energy to command your body. So you don't have to do something like me. You just do Rofu, that's enough.
Then when you do this, just try to experience. Close your eyes, and you will you will feel it's totally different. Okay, now <clears throat> let's make a chi field now. Okay, be calm on your navel, be quiet. Quiet. Think. Look at the sky. And now, think you are dentian. Think you are dentian. Okay. Turn left. Let your roof now. And also you can put the sole of your feet together. <clears throat> if you do your full. You can feel obviously there is a mass of energy in your level. This is the prenatal energy. Now, so you can feel your palms in your chest, in your belly. There is a vast space in your body. The chi keep working on your navel, on your inner organs.
Okay. <clears throat> now to the right. Right now. Okay, teachers, write one below now, write one below. And all that.
Very good, teachers. The man with the void. The void. You no, know, there is a lot of monkey man in the bridge. Put the door, put the blue sky. Then back to your navel. Coming in. Turn the light.
Hey. <coughs> and okay, <coughs> for the end, let's do the ending of the uh, class. What are you from? Are you are you this? Message your ears or message your eyes. In another direction. Massage your face and comb your hair at the same time. Okay. Knock on the sky, knock on your ear. Uh, <clears throat> Do something like this. Put a palm on your ears. <clears throat> okay. Let's uh, massage your, your, your palm. Okay. Then the class is over. Thank you all. Thank you very much, teacher. Thank you for making time. And uh, please practice it. Pra please practice it. You don't have to practice anything else. But this one is worth to practice. Okay. Allah. 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 I think our teacher logged off. It, it, it's very late in China. It's um, it's eleven thirty at night. So we are grateful that he made time. Um, just to let you know, next uh, Sunday I won't be available, but M Martin will uh, lead the class, and he will be our guest speaker. And then in two weeks, um, November twentieth. And Herring from uh, from the Netherlands will be our guest teacher, and then uh, November twenty seventh, uh, Daniela from from California, and then I think it's December fifth from Argentina. We have a we have a special guest. So great seeing you, everyone. And if you need the recording, so we 